Thank you for watching us. Uh, we're here in Austin, Texas during the US Grand Prix and we have very special guests today from Scuderia Toro Rosso, the team principal Franz Toast and the Formula One driver for Scuderia Toro Rosso, Daniel Kratt. Thank you for joining. Um, we heard great news today that Daniel, you were with the team for the season 2017. So what are your impressions? What are the feelings? Well, I'm very happy about the news, obviously, it uh, was uh, fantastic to get confirmation for the next year uh, because now we can focus on, on the job, you know, and th there is few races left for this season, so we'll focus on this season's races and then the next season it all starts uh, from, from the beginning again and we're going to push really hard because that's what we like to do. Awesome. Well, the whole team is very excited and satisfied that Red Bull took this decision that Daniel will be with us uh, next year and we are convinced that we will have a very very successful season because we have two high skilled driver Daniel Kiat and uh, Carlos Sainz and uh, I'm convinced that our engineers will design and build a quite competitive car and then we will push, we will push like that. <laughs> like we always do. <laughs> Good. There is a great news and um, Acronis is very excited about this. So you just mentioned the regulations so fine. Uh, what is your expectation for the season 2017? You also said that um, Toro Rosso is going to have a new car. So how do you feel about that? Yeah, everybody has to come up with a new car because it's a completely new regulation uh, with a new chassis. The tires are new, they are much wider in front and in the rear. The complete aero package is uh, different and uh, we are working very hard on this. We started already at the beginning of the season in January and uh, I think that uh, our aerodynamic guys have done a good job. But the rest we will see the next uh, season. The target is quite clear, we have to be in front of the midfield, which means in the Constructors' Championship we should be at around uh, the position 5 and um, with the new Renault power unit, the new car, the new tyres and our two fantastic drivers, I think that uh, we can achieve this goal. So Daniel, what is your goal for 2017 and how you keep yourself motivated? Uh, you have a lot of support and on Acronis social media, everyone asks us questions, how's Daniel? So please share. Uh, well, to keep myself motivated is not really a problem. So um, the goals, uh, you know, there's no certain goal. We just try to be as good as possible in every area. Me personally, the area that I can influence the best is driving. Obviously working hard with the engineers as well trying to help with the car feedback and stuff like that, but in the final end it matters how well we drive in the qualifying and in the race, so um, we see where we are, because the regulation changes so much in next season, so we never know where we're going to be. Like Acronis is all about the data protection and Formula One is the most technologically advanced sport with all the innovations and one car produces a lot of um, information. So what is the most valuable piece of information that you collect from the car that you need to protect and that helps you to improve the car? Yeah, there are so many data uh, which uh, we get from the car and you know from the, only here at the racetrack from the telemetry side, yeah, but also uh, at home when we work with CFD and so on yeah, and we are more than happy to cooperate with Acronis because of the safe storage of the data and of all the backup solutions because if you lose data and in the past sometimes this happened then you immediately lose a lot of performance because you don't have any more the spaces uh, where you can uh, study data and where you can develop the car like the drivers for example uh, study always the data of the setup and then uh, with the knowledge of the data mm -hmm. In the past, they set up the car then uh, for the next races, and uh, therefore uh, Formula One is a data-driven sport and business. And uh, therefore, as I mentioned before, we are more than happy to work together with uh, such a professional company like Acronis because this backs up up, and uh, therefore we are on the safe side.
Thank you, Franz. Right. I just want to share some um, support that Acronis team is doing. We have in all our offices the car simulators and our employees drive for Toro Rosso and we kind of compete between the offices. So soon there's going to be online competition between Acronis employees and the winner will get ticket to the um, Formula One. So Acronis is very excited about Formula One. We learn a lot and we follow the races and we follow the drivers. So there's a lot of support from the company and we are happy to partner with uh, Scuderia Toro Rosso. Thank you. Thank you very much for this and we are looking forward uh, to increase this cooperation, just to get more out of it from data protection, data storage and all this kind of stuff, Thank which you, you offer. Yeah, it's very nice that Kronos stepped in uh, uh, to collaborate with Toro Rosso this season, so very happy. It's, uh, I think very good help to the team and uh, like Franz said, obviously we hope that it will keep growing and uh, keep going in the direction that we are all going. It's, it's very nice to have you guys with us. Awesome, thank you.